Good morning, YouTube family, friends, and subscribers. We're going to have a day of sun. And I guess this weekend, the first major storm will come through and it's going to snow down to 4,000, which is, I'm quite a bit below that. In fact, the snow line is right up there at the top of those trees between there and 500 feet above it pretty much all winter so we don't go very far to get in the snow but sometimes it comes down and and nails us and that's all right i like snow so is my wife so we're good uh this is a shout out to uh pine meadow hobby farm i got to meet with him yesterday he drove to town and we met for lunch and had a great time talking you need to check out his youtube channel he's really good at how to he explains everything he uh, edits his videos well they're really well represented or, or excuse me really well presented and it's his journey moving off grid for the second time also a shout out to roy amberg who contacted me and he was able to give me some advice about my inverter charger and how I could keep it into uh, charging the batteries with the diesel generator. It was going into float, kicking out of absorb mode and going into float too soon. And he suggested it was perhaps a default setting because of the lack of a temperature setting, a temperature probe, excuse me. I haven't talked to anybody this morning, but the cat and the Lord, a little tongue tied. So I got a temperature probe in the mail, came in three days, ordered it from a place out of Bend, Oregon. I installed the temperature probe this morning. It just goes down and sticks to the side of one of the batteries in the battery bank and it plugs in right there. And between that temperature probe telling the inverter what voltage to charge the batteries because of the temperature differentials, the voltage is different. And then I can hold it into absorb mode longer by decreasing the, the return amps by making the inverter think the battery bank is actually smaller than it really is. And I can tweak it, modifying it between these two, hopefully, to match fairly close to what the TriStar is doing. Which it's doing well for a cloudy day. It's, it's 16 amps at 24 volts. And the battery bank is... 11 and a half, 12 amps going into the batteries and climbing, cloud must be moving by. And the, the battery bank is at 88%. So I can't really get a good test on the inverter charger uh, yet today, maybe in tomorrow or the next day if we have uh, the storm coming in and I don't get good solar production. I try not to go below 80% uh, state of charge. In fact, I've only gone to 79% state of charge uh, one time. State of charge, different from depth of discharge. So I will post a video uh, to see how this works, see if I can get the inverter charger to charge the battery bank uh, like it should be. So again, a shout out to Pine Meadow Hobby Farms and also to Roy Amberger. Roy Amberg, I think he's in Minnesota, and he does solar for a living. And uh, he said the other day, he says, I, I hope this is all right, say it, Roy. He doesn't watch regular TV. I don't either. I don't have one. I spend most of my time watching YouTube videos and watching people that are off-grid or on solar alternative forms of energy. And it's kind of a neat, uh, uh, what would you say, a community of like-minded people. And I think the people there in Minnesota are just awesome. I've had a lot of friends from Minnesota. In fact, a lot of them were Norwegians. So have, I hope this helps somebody. We're just kind of a shout out to these two guys and appreciation for their help and encouragement to me. And I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. And uh, heads up because winter's coming. God bless. Bye-bye.